yeah, so we're going to be doing some pillowcases and we're also going to do a throw blanket, which is really fun and it's really cute and I'm excited to do it. So, all right, are we up and running? Probably not. Yeah, I think we are. And no, Tony, we are not, are we going to Atlantic City in March? I don't think we are, are we? Um, sorry about that. So the, that show I think will be a great show. Um, we have a conflict with another show and it's difficult to be at more than one place at the same time. So I apologize. I don't believe we will be able to go to that show. So, um, certainly apologize. That's true. Just all by myself. We could. I'll buy your show. Oh, Lindsay can come too. And, um, you know, we're always looking for, I guess, um, any new organizations, publications, or whatever to be part of. As many of you know, I write a lot of articles, just turned in an article today to, um, I think, Screen Print Magazine, which I've not written for, from them, for them before. Um, so lots of exciting things in our industry with um, what we do, which is, of course, uh, narrowly focused on sublimation and heat transfer mm -hmm. markets. Yep. Um, hey, Alice. Uh, Alice, you have the cutest stuff. So cute. I love your stuff. Um, so, guys, yeah. Um, so we have, uh, like I said, some things to press today. We have some things to talk about. We have a new feature on our website that we're going to talk about. Um, of course, we're going to give away some prizes. We're going to give away our last month grand prize winner um what else what was i going to say oh yeah don't forget that you guys get to win everything press so if you can guess the weights then you can win the stuff all right we've been uh tweaking our rules a little bit so um we'll talk more about that when we get to that part of the show alice you're welcome thank you i get so much inspiration from people like alice people like tammy uh, all of you really um so and thank for you folks for that may not understand what sprite said is we have a part of our website just go there and you'll see client gallery and client gallery was started uh, many many years ago as a way to build our sublimation community to share. And so um, quickly I figured out that my talents are not artistic, that's not where they lie, and that I really wanted to be around folks that had those talents, and the best way to do it is to share their success. And we have so many people that will contribute. Um, some people would say, well, I really don't want to let people know what I'm doing, and that's just part of what I do. It's a secret. And I certainly respect that, but the vast majority of folks um, definitely want to share and help everyone grow their business. And uh, that is um, what is needed more in our world is, is to share. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah, and so speaking of our client gallery, so we run contests all the time, and we do a weekly contest where you just enter in your stuff, and we pick a random person, and we give them $25 in Condi Cash. Um, and then we do a monthly contest where we have a theme, and you can win $200, $100, or $50 in Condi Cash. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. So, um, but now we have a new feature on our website where you can view your client gallery as an unbranded web page. So, um, so the things that you enter in onto your client gallery, um, you can now view it through our Easy Customs uh, website. And if you guys don't know about Easy Customs, Easy Customs is uh, our unbranded uh catalog on the, the web that you can show your customers it you know it doesn't look like it's affiliated with condi at all so they can go through they can pick what they want there's no pricing or anything on it so you know that's a it's a, it's a great resource to have so let me tell you about this unbranded client image gallery so you sign in 
on me.com, you click on my account at the top of the page. On the lower left side of the screen, you click on marketing tools and that's gonna give you a link. And then you can send that link to your customers and that's going to show all of the products that you have been uploading to our client gallery. So it's like um, like a portfolio, an online portfolio of your things. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on here. You have a chance to win money. Uh, you have a chance to market to your customers. So, um, yeah. Uh, so there, there's really two things that you can share with your clients. Number one is you can share with them the link for easycustoms.com, which is a flip book style um, website. Uh, it's our catalog, but it's unbranded. Um, so, and it, it would be exceptionally difficult for them to figure out who it is. Obviously, there's some bound and determined people, but I think it's as unbranded as we can get. Um, number two is you can share with them your client gallery link. And so, those are two resources that can help you. You know, I would think of uh, if, if you'd been adding stuff and it's not too late, you can add as many things you want. That's the perfect kind of link to share on Facebook, I would say. Yeah, and I see Teresa said she tried it and it didn't work. Um, Teresa, give us an email, support at condi.com, and let's figure that out because um, we, we had some, some success with it yesterday, but... Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, we, it is a new feature, and obviously there there may be something that's not working, and yeah. we certainly are going to fix it uh, quickly. So, um, um, you know, we we um, hit, okay. Know what that means? Uh, okay. All right. Um, so, any rate, happened. it's a it's a great resource for you. Um, hopefully, we're still still broadcasting here. We're still live. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay, all right, so, you wanna talk about your giveaway? Um, well, have we talked about next week, we're gonna be um, in California in Long Beach at the ISS show there. Um, I guess the show is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will not be- Oh, I, I apologize. So, Teresa, you went in under the account and you just tried it and it worked. Correct? Okay. okay, okay, good. cool, good. good, all right. Excellent, glad, glad okay. it works. So next week, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the ISS Long Beach Show. ISS stands for Imprinted Sportswear Show. Um, it is morphed into more than just imprinted sportswear, of course. Um, it's really, um, for us, it's one of the top shows, um, certainly on the West Coast. So if you happen to be in the neighborhood, um, Please check it out, come by the booth, and we would love to visit with you. Um, should be, you know, just one of those kind of um, large shows. And I think some of the benefits of attending shows are really the networking, where you can network with other digital decorators um, and talk to them and find out what's working for them, what's not, and how to grow your business. There are a large number of, of great classes that are taught. I know the great folks at Digital Art Solutions generally um, teaches a day of classes, maybe before the show or something like that. So check out. At the same time as ISS, pretty much, there is another show we'll be uh, partnering with um, in, in Phoenix called Creativation. And I think it's like a website of creativationshow.org or something like that. And this is a large craft show for people selling crafts. Um, um, and uh, we'll be in the Esprit uh, booth. The Esprit folks are the people that bring us the Art Esprit markers. So that should be a hoot. Um, so again, two, two big things uh, going on. Um, Ruthie, um when you click on the link, it'll send you to the page, and then you just copy it from your web browser there. So, and then David wants to know where is the show and how can he get in. So the show is in Long Beach, and you just... Um, I, I would say that I'm not completely cognizant of all the rules, but go to ISS Shows. Um, there may be a way for you to get in free. I'm not sure, um, but you could touch base with your condi rep to see but certainly the beginning place is ISS 
our Google ISS shows, Long Beach um, there, um, and, and check it out. Um, but choose an email if, if that doesn't make sense. Okay. We have a question. Can yes. they make an order at Long Beach in the booth? Can they pick it up Monday at the warehouse? So the question is, if you make an order um, there at the show, can you pick it up in the, our lot of Murata warehouse? I would say yes for Friday, no for Saturday and Sunday. So um, Friday there would be a very good chance that we could process the order. But if you really wanted to do that, I would call the order in instead of trying to place it at the show. Um, at the show, I think it's just a great opportunity to talk and learn and touch and feel and see. Um, and certainly we welcome orders. I would say your very best way to place an order is to either uh, do it online or simply um, call in to us and, and place the order over the phone. Yeah. All right. You guys want to start pressing? I wanted to cover um, one more thing. And that is, um, at the show, um, you'll get to see a little bit of um, really how we've continued to enhance and upgrade our color management approach to sublimation. And we've named it. Um, and the name is Spectrofusion. And color management has been a passion of mine for 20 plus years. And our approach to printing with sublimation, as many of you know, involves um, what's called an ICC profile. And this profile is often integrated directly into uh, the application you print from, such as Adobe products and Corel products. What we're doing with our method of color management is we're actually connecting to the color engine of these applications. By doing that, there is a lot less translation, a lot less things to go wrong, and essentially you're, you're plugged into the heart of what's happening color-wise within the application. And so if you were to go out there and ask color professionals that know a whole lot more than I do, like those at Adobe or Corel, they would tell you that this approach is the absolute best approach because it conforms to how their color engine works. Um, and so if you're using color aware software like Adobe products, like Corel products, then, then this is the very best approach. If you're using other applications such as Silhouette um, and, and applications that are great applications, uh, but they don't have that color engine like um, Adobe does, um, then we do color management in the driver. And that is certainly a good approach, um, but when you're using an application that supports a color engine, then, then using it within the application is the best approach. And so um, we have continued to enhance our approach, make it better, and so um, in the coming months, you will see uh, a rollout like an email from us saying, call in and let us upgrade you. If you happen to be um, a client that bought their printer from us or your client that didn't buy their printer from us but you're now buying your inks from us, then we're happy to make sure that you're printing the very best way you can. Now for folks out there that are using the great software from Sawgrass Creative Studio, that's a cloud-based designer, and it's tied directly to what Sawgrass calls VPM, which is the Virtuoso Print Manager. And for that software, then, then that's, that's how you've got to print. Um, but if you're using an app, traditional applications, Adobe Corel, then we would strongly recommend you print through SpectraFusion um, uh, method of printing. question is, are the ICC profiles you provide better than the Creative Studio in your opinion? She has all the Adobe products but never gets consistent color because she doesn't use ICC profiles, instead uses Creative Studio. 
So what I would say is, is the question is regarding, say, an Adobe product versus Creative Studio. So Creative Studio um, is something that we had on our wish list for many years and it absolutely gets the job done and that is for someone that uh, either doesn't own these other applications like Illustrator, Photoshop, CorelDRAW or if they own them they don't know how to use them. In other words it's just not something that's in their DNA maybe they can learn to use them um, and so Creative Studio is going to be a great way for you to start designing and printing right away. But if you know how to use Adobe products or Corel products, then then we would say you, you are, you know, light years ahead of, of, of Creative Studio from the point of view that Creative Studio really provides no, no vector editing tools at all, no raster editing tools. And so the reason Creative Studio doesn't have those is because if it did, it, it would now turn into an overly complex piece of software. So Creative Studio is, is, is doing exactly what it should do. It's addressing folks that don't want to become a graphics artist. They don't want to learn all these features. They simply want to start designing right now and print right away. So very pleased with that. But there potentially is a graduation step. You reach a point where you're doing great Creative Studio, but you really want to expand beyond that, and that's where great products like um, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Lightroom, um, and then on the Corel side, mainly Corel Draw, really take you to the next level. Um, we have a question from Eleni. She's joining us from somewhere in Europe. Uh, when will Sawgrass come out with software for another printer? So the question is, when will Sawgrass come out with um, software, software for, another printer, for yeah. another printer? So um, right now there are really three printers in the Sawgrass line of Virtuoso printers, the SG400, the SG800, and then the VJ628. So I'm not positive exactly um, what your question is referring to. Is there going to be a new printer from Sawgrass? I would say that eventually um, the great folks at Rico, which manufacture the 400 and 800, um, will come out with a new model. I have no information that that's forthcoming anytime soon. Um, so, um, I, you know, if you could just clarify for me. Thank you. Quite a few more questions. Um, Judy Fox asks about Inkscape in regards to the ICC. So um, I'm just a little bit familiar with Inkscape. Are you? Nope. And so um, I believe Inkscape um, would probably um, use the profile in the driver. So so Inkscape would be where we would put the um, do color management in the driver for that. And so um, uh, it's been a while since I used Inkscape, um, as I recall. It was, it was um, more the, along the lines of just a fantastic raster um, arts kind of program, but it's been a while. I apologize for my lack of knowledge, um, but I've always heard good things about it. Um, as you know, uh, there's just not an overabundance number of, of programs that have survived all these years. Um, I still remember the days of using GIMP, if you've... Um, familiar with that, um, and then Corel has a number of other programs that they've, they've um, put in their family. Um, but of, we'll call it mainstream programs um, that really have stood the test of time and kept being upgraded so that they run on modern Mac and modern Windows platforms, um, it's somewhat limited. So the question is, um, is there a show in Nashville? Um, the, the great folks at NBM, I believe, um, moved away from Nashville for this year. So um, I forget what location they chose instead. I was really looking forward to going back to Nashville. We enjoy the heck out of uh, visiting that. So um, sorry about that. 
But if you go to, um, on our website, I'm sure you can see the shows we're going to, but if you just simply Google NBM shows 2019, um, you'll see where they're going. Now, NBM has added a couple of extra shows, so um, it's really going to be a very bu busy year for everybody with the extra locations. Well, so, um, someone asked a while back whether the show specials be able to get them on the phone. Okay, so great question. The, the question is about show specials. So the way we do show specials is that whether you're at the show or not, you can take advantage of show specials. So the answer is yes. The only thing you can't do is if you're not at the show, you can't take the press that's in the booth with you. So if you're at a show, then you can, you can purchase um, any of the, the demo equipment that is on the show floor. James asks, will Reveal ever be released? Reveal W. So the, the question is uh, regarding Reveal and the Reveal S, Reveal uh, W, Reveal WC. Um, at the ISS show, I am scheduled to meet with the Reveal folks for an update on that question. Um, I would have expected the product to be released some time ago, and it hasn't, um, and so I hope to have an update for you. Just curious, if you are able to press something side by side, this is from Teresa, um, pressed on, say, product through VPM and Corel, as well as Corel with the ICC profile. So just curious if you are able to press something side by side. So our question is, can you do a comparison of the different ways you can print? Um, and the answer is yes. So, um, and, and we'll be we'll be doing that so, soon. So so the um, if you're printing from let's say Corel, there really is two ways you can print, and and I can't think of a third way, but just two ways. Number one is you can print through Spectrafusion, or number two is you can print through VPM. And so Spectrafusion, the profile will be selected in, in uh, Print Preview under the Color tab. You'll see it there. It'll say, um, um, you know, how do you want to handle colors? You want Corel to handle them. And then it will allow you to choose the ICC profile. If we set it up for you, generally speaking, Corel is smart enough to figure things out by itself. So you don't even have to, to worry about those settings. The only thing I ever suggest from normal Corel settings is the rendering intent. Um, I prefer a perceptual rendering intent where the default for Corel is relative color metric. But, you know, I would say there's no doubt in my mind that um, you will get more accurate uh, color by using our approach, which is an integrated um, ICC profile within Corel. without the VPM. VPM. Okay, so you mixed a couple of printers there together. So um, absolutely we do setups for the SG400 and 800 um, using Spectrafusion. I would say that um, there's absolutely no downside to installing VPM um, at the same time and, and I, I would say that's probably a good idea not to print with it, but I like um, that VPM gives you some diagnostic information. So in VPM, there's a couple of features that very few people use, but nonetheless, they're still there. And number one is um, it'll tell you your ink levels by percent, um, and I like that. Uh, number two is there is a, um, a test page scheduler within VPM so that it will print out a test page, um, you know, on on a daily basis or every couple of days. So um, there, there's no reason, sort of, not to install VPM. Um, but as far as the, the methodology of printing from color aware applications, I would recommend uh, that you print with um, our Spectrafusion uh, method. And um, Teresa, yeah, we will definely be doing a side-by-side uh, -side color. 
How, I'm going to get to that comment. Uh, we will be doing a side-by-side -side color comparison um, to show you guys the difference between uh, printing with our Spectrofusion and without. And yes, Eddie, we were out of Sprites, and so I had to have a Coke. So there's going back, this is not a situation where VPM is is not what it should be. VPM is is a excellent piece of software, replacement driver, if you will, for the Sawgrass printers. What it really comes down to is you still have inherent limitations of doing color management in the driver. They're just inherent limitations. So if you were to buy an expensive Epson printer, large format, um, you would be using an ICC profile um, at some point in your applications. Um, the exception of that is many of the big printers do have uh, software rips like Wasatch, and Wasatch does do color management within it, but it has to because you don't print to Wasatch generally. You open your jobs in Wasatch and rip them and you get into complexities of what are called input profiles. So um, when files are printed, when files are saved, you have to know what is the working space profile of that file. It has to then be opened correctly. By our approach, you don't have to worry about that because you're talking directly to the CIE color engine using a color space called LAB, L-A-B. And so we translate directly from the, the real color space called lab directly into the, the, the working space of the printer. Okay, um, Jenny from YouTube asks, so should I call in to have Spectrofusion added to my machine? So if you're already printing with the, the Condi profile, we will send out an email in the future um, asking people to call in so we can upgrade you. We are not quite ready for, for all the upgrades coming in, um, but we'll be in the near future. All right, two more questions and we're caught up. What demo equipment will be at the show and can they buy Chromalux there? So as far as demo equipment at the show, um, we will have a fair number of SG400s and 800s. We will have at least a couple um, George Knight DK20Ss, probably a DK3 mug press and a DK3T mug press um, will be for sale. Um, Doug and his heat transfer will likely have an Oki 8432WT. Um, he will bring with him one of the new Mammoth uh, five color Okies which I can't, I haven't got that number memorized. Anybody know what that number is? I can go look real um, quick, but no. Yeah, there's know. one a few feet from us. But at any rate, it's the, the Mammoth um, five color white printer. Um, Doug will be bringing one of those. I believe that printer is already sold. Um, and so if you're interested in any of that, I, I would say, you know, then you got an opportunity if you come to the show, but I would say that, you know, maybe you call ahead and we help you with that right now as opposed to um, having to, um, you know, take it out of the show. There are, there are people that go to shows that just love to purchase at the shows, and I certainly um, respect that. Um, I'm more the kind of person I want to study and ask questions and then make my decision later. And so our show specials are really set up for both kinds of people. If you want to buy it right away, great. If you want a little time to think about and ask questions, so be it. Um, that, that sells methodology. As far as Chromalux goes, um, we, we can't deliver Chromalux metal right from the booth. Um, but again, our warehouse is down the street. And so if you place your order early enough Friday, you can pick it up on Friday. You certainly could pick it up on Monday. Okay, one more question? No more questions? All right, let's press something. Okay, guys. Good questions, lots of questions. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right, and we do go to Colorado. We have a show in Denver this year, don't we? Or are we not doing that? You know, um, Who knows? we're going to Denver, I believe. Um, could one of you ladies do a quick check on, um, I don't know, but if you go to look on our calendar, 
Yep. October 11th through 12th, we're at the NBM show. Yeah, it's show. the NBM show, and the NBM folks are great folks. We, we um, do appreciate it. We do teach at all the NBM shows, so take advantage of that. The first NBM show of the year is in Phoenix right at the end of January, beginning of, of February. Um, and Catherine is printing from Silhouette. So Catherine, uh, Silhouette is not one of those programs that will support the Spectrofusion. So um, you, you really have two choices with it. Our default would be we would apply the Spectrofusion profile in the driver, and I think that's a great, great approach, and we definitely can, can set you up that way. The other option would be to use VPM. Um, so um, you've, got, you've got two options. All right. And, okay. you know, you can try both, see which one you like. Um, I, again, I like the way we do color management um, for a host of reasons. And um, as she's getting ready to press, I'll tell you one. So we've been doing essentially the same thing for a gazillion years. Um, I've been doing it 27 years. The way we started color management probably was started 20 years ago. And so the first Rico we ever sold was the GX7000. And if someone called us today and said, I need to set my GX7000 up on a new computer with Windows 10 or a new Mac, um, we would be able to do that using what has evolved into SpectraFusion technology. And the, the great folks at Sawgrass, um, stop support of their software for the 7000 like 10 years ago. And so uh, used to be they sold the, the, they gave away the power driver as part of their ink solution. Power driver has gone away and now we have the power driver replacements called VPM. And so these are all evolving solutions that unfortunately will, will, will end maintenance at some point because New versions of Windows come out, new versions of Mac come out, and, and they're not maintained for those new versions. Where the driver approach is such a simple approach, we are able to put the client exactly back where they were um, as if they had, for instance, a Windows 2000 machine. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a more robust approach. It's certainly simple. And, and that's why um, I prefer it. The good news is um, all this is part of just simply buying your printer from us or buying your inks from us. We have a couple questions regarding the paper. Um, where do you get the butcher paper and do you sell the paper holder? Okay, so the paper holder, we got this from Uline and the butcher paper, I think we get it from Sam's. Sam's Club. Yeah. So, so it is uncoated white butcher paper. It's almost free. Um, I think Uline probably sells it, office supply store sell it. The holder is great. I think the holder is cool. Yeah, it's my favorite. All right, let's pause some questions just for a while and get pressing. We have to? Please. Okay. All right, guys. So I have, um, this is our linen uh, table, not, this is our linen pillowcase. And you guys have seen me do this before. So, um, uh, this is JDW744. I just pre-pressed it for about 10 seconds. I have this cute mandala design. Mandela design, mandala, who knows, right? Um, I'm use a little bit of pro spray on it. Place it on there. Cover it with cover paper and we're going to press it medium pressure for about 60 seconds. Okay. So does Catherine uh, need to call us or Sawgrass to add VPM? Um, we will do it for you. So the question is um, regarding VPM. If, if, if VPM it would be a resource for you, we're happy to install it. Um, assuming of course you, you know, got the printer from us or got the inks. Okay. All right. Also, uh, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, um, I recommend um, on the, the edges that hit the um, pillow, you can deckle the edges and um, helps a little bit. 
Okay, so I wasn't going to bring this up, but on on the the linen, linen. you don't really have to. But now we we are going to do a game cloth one, and we're going to deckle the edge on that one. So so the linen linen is one of those things that is a little bit impervious to the the nightmare that we see with uh, crease marks when the edge of the paper pushes into um, a piece of fabric, and um, that's when we designed the linen probably two years ago, that's one of the things that we found that we were so excited about. And um, Hot. I'm looking at it and... Um, you don't see it. Um, it's it's exceptionally hard to see. Um, that's because stuff. it's non-existent. And I do want to apologize for the table. Oh yeah, sorry about that. This is, this is bad. Don't zoom in, Lindsay. This, this is a working working table of some sort. And um, we're in one of our um, uh, we're large in Doug's rooms. office. But oh. those Thank colors you. are just excellent. It is. Okay, you can zoom in on this stuff. It slowly, slowly. There you go. Oh, just excellent. Let me, let me show. Let me go show YouTube what's up. Show them the love. Show them the love. Here you go, YouTube. Hold on now, one one camera at a time, please. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yay! All right, yeah. So really cute. I do love this linen. I absolutely love this linen. I absolutely love it. This is so cute, so popular. Has such an excellent feel. And um, one of the things that folks have asked for since we brought it out was the ability for them to make their own products. And we now have um, bulk linen. That's right, we do. And you can sublimate on both sides of the bulk linen. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, so um, let's talk about this for a second. So this product runs you anywhere, it's about $3. So you can get this, depending on how many you buy, anywhere between $2.89 to $3.37. So this is under $3.50. I saw these on Etsy for $40. And that's Etsy. So like, you know, people like to lowball on Etsy. These, this is just, this is, this is huge. This is such a good product. Check it out. JDW 744. And you might get to win it at the end of the show. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. They're well made. Um, just a, oh, just a quality product. Beautiful. Okay. Moving right along. All right. This. Thank you for your comment, Julia. She just mentioned about uh, the quality of the product. Yeah. Hey, Tim Jordan. Uh, Get Tim, to work. Tim Jordan is on here. Yes. Get to work. Get Tim to Jordan work. is is one of our management folks in Ooh. in our um, uh, warehouse and shipping. Something like that. Yeah, he okay. went to the game um, in um, Santa Clara. So um, glad you made it home, Tim. I told him he's never allowed to go to another game. Okay, guys. So I this, think he's actually born in San Francisco, he, he, well, yeah, weren't you, is. Tim? Weren't you, Tim? Yes, he, we talked about that. Yes, he was. Um, hi, Tim. Okay. Okay. This is a youth pillowcase. This is item number 5002. And we're going to press this. So the first thing I'm going to do is pre-press it. Hey, Christina Talent, first time watching. Thank you so much. Okay. Actually, so it looks like this is, um, is this 13 by 19 or 13 the, um, by 21? Yeah, it's, I think it's like 13 by 18. So, um, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to take a piece of paper and stick it in there. Okay. You agree with me so far? Maybe? Absolutely. Okay, good. All right. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to get all my stuff out of the way. Okay, so I have a piece of butcher paper. I fold it in half. I'm just going to stick it in here. And so what that's going to do is that's going to stop the sublimation dye from bleeding through to the other side. And um, I want to do this before I pre-press. And so that way I make sure to get everything nice and even. Okay, all right, so 
so we're good. All right, so we're going to do a pre-press first. We're going to lint roll because why do we lint roll first, David? You don't know, do you? Because there might be something on the fabric that when you hit it with heat, it has color in it. And so uh, push the middle button on there. Sorry. Um, there are optical, uh, optical brighteners that are used in the manufacture of fabrics that you can't see them, but when you hit them with heat, they turn into this light blue color and, and blue specks. And it's a, um, something that's not pleasant to be avoided. Um, lint rolling your products um, goes a long ways to preventing that. Um, and if it happens to you and you're lint rolling, give us a call. We'll, we'll talk and see what we can do. Um, Alice on YouTube asks, Sprite, would you hang the zipper off the edge of the pattern? No, ma'am. Okay, so Alice from YouTube asked if I hung the zipper off the edge, and no, I did not. Um, so... One of the great things about this fabric is, um, well, actually, uh, you know, I have not had an issue doing these at all. I haven't had to put anything on the interior. Um, I haven't really had to hold, to put the seam off or anything. One second, we're answering a YouTube question and we lost YouTube. We lost YouTube, I can't believe it. YouTube is like the problem child. This is just a black screen. A black? <laughs> Tony, the part number is 5002. Joe, you're getting impatient. I see that. Oh, my live video has ended. Done. Shoot. You just have to start it again. What happened? No, her message was, well, I can't say. Just start everything again. You're still active on YouTube. Okay, I think we're still on YouTube, so hopefully we're we're back. Hey, Facebook, did you miss me? So the question was talking about the zipper on these, and since this is not our first rodeo, um, we did try to um, improve the product to the point where it, it went around some of the previous issues we had had. One of them was zippers that would be crushed, zippers that would melt, and so we did uh, design into the, um, the pillow a, really a great zipper. Yeah, yeah. we're going to give you guys a couple seconds because I know we lost you there on Facebook for a little bit. Um, Yep, sure did. Hey, Violet, hope you get your stuff soon. Good. Uh, Violet was a fifth, five tenths of a pound off last week. So you go, girl. You go, girl. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, um, so yeah. Okay. So I did my pre-press. Everything looks nice and and pressed. So I am doing a full bleed image. Oh. Anna's the same forward and backwards. We are back on Facebook. Yes, we are back. Everybody is so excited that we're back. I'm excited too. There's a, there's a word for words that are the same backwards and forwards, but I don't remember what that word is. But anyway. I know like race car. And um, what's what's another good one? Uh, I don't know. It's... I didn't know race car. Hmm. Yeah. Are we still live on YouTube? We have a black screen on YouTube. But remember, if it looks good on that one, I would keep going. So uh, Tabitha says she can hear, but she can't see. Lindsay, mind, can't. Lindsay, get your finger off the camera lens. You know? Okay, I'm sorry. I get distracted easily. Can you believe it? Okay, Taco Cat. That's a good one. That's a good one, Tammy. All right, here we go. So we're going to spray it with a little bit of Pro Spray. All right, I'm going to take my pillowcase with my protective paper in the middle, and I'm just going to kind of lay it on here. Mm -hmm. 
palindrome. There you go, David. That's what it's called. Eddie. That's cheating. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that, um, you know, everything is nice and smooth. I don't have any wrinkles. Lindsay's freaking me out, zooming in on me. All right, here we go. So now I'm just going to take it. Well, you know what? Let's do that one more time, guys. Okay. So guys, one of the things I do want to mention is to always measure any of your fabric products, um, you know, because sometimes uh, it is hand sewn, so it may vary a little between what it says on the website and what it actually is. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to press this for, what are we going to press this for? We're going to press this for about 60 seconds for medium pressure. All right. Okay. So you guys, if you're on YouTube and you can't see us, come check us out on Facebook. We seem to be working there. We seem to be working there, you know, for the most part. Unless, unless David messes it up again, which could happen. Hey, yes, ma'am. Sure is. This is a, I don't know how big it is, 30 it's, by 40? I think 40? it's a 40 by 60. 40 by 60 Chromalux aluminum panel, high gloss, yes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. I, I just hung it up there. All right. Let's see what we did. Cool. All right. Whew, that's hot. I let that cool down for a second. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. So now we have a, look at that, isn't that cute? So custom um, pillowcase. Oh, I, I was gonna show YouTube, but they can't see anything anyways, can they? YouTube's working. Yeah. Okay, we got YouTube working, yeah. good. Oh, goodness gracious, love. There we go, isn't that cute? We don't have YouTube. We don't have YouTube. There you go, guys. Yay. All right. Moving right along. Next up, let's do a different type of pillowcase. So this is our game cloth case. Uh, this is GM four GM fourteen fourteen W. Um, so this fits a fourteen by fourteen inch pillow. And uh, this GM fourteen fourteen W. All right. So this one does need a little thing to uh, use it. So we're going to use a piece of foam. This is the foam kit that you can get, um, and we're just going to stick this inside of our pillowcase.
Oh, Miriam, I hope you feel better. I had the flu over Christmas, and uh, it is not a fun thing to deal with. But the desert in Yuma. Oh, very nice. Okay. So I've got, I've almost got it in there. All right. So I got my pillow in there. I'm going to lint roll it first. Just throwing stuff. All right, and we're going to pre-press this for um, 20 seconds. Okay, um, Alice, because the bottom of the pillow has uh, this little uh, flap, and so if you don't use the foam, you're going to get that crease in there when you do your design. So you want to make sure you have that foam so you have a nice, even place to, um, to sublimate to. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to pre-press this for 20 seconds. Medium pressure. All right. Okay, so now that we have pre-pressed, we're going to take our image and we are going to deckle the edges. So we're just going to take and just rip. And so like David said, this is going to take any of those hard lines out that may occur when you press to fabric. Joe wants to know, is that a special kind of foam you're using? Uh, so this foam that I'm using, we sell. It's a vapor foam kit that we, um, you know, we use it for a couple of different things. Uh, the pillowcases is are one of them. We use them for T-shirts. Um, so you know, it's a good, uh, it's a good purchase to look into. It's a cheap thing to buy, you know, and it's something that you're going to use a lot. So yeah, you think you love that design? We'll see. We'll see. All right, here we go. A little bit other pre, uh, another, um, wow, what did I do with it? Lint roll, there we go. Okay, have my design. A little bit of pro spray. We're gonna line it up. We're going to press it for 50 seconds with a medium pressure. Get your mic back on, or have yep. you been talking the whole time? Just, uh, just looking things over, trying to All right. not break something. You know, it's a crapshoot here. Never know what you're going to get. All right. Yeah. Pillowcase turned out really good. Thanks, buddy. How are we looking on YouTube? I'm Why not sure. For some strange reason. It's probably David's phone. Could be. Could be. By the way, we are going to try to do a live broadcast from ISS, so we'll we'll see how that goes. And um, good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be there. He doesn't care. Mary wants to know what is vapor foam. Um, so um, over the years, we've worked on techniques to eliminate the crease marks from the edge of the paper as it's pressed into fabric. And ultimately the solution that seems to have worked is two things. Number one is the vapor foam kit. It consists of a roll of foam. You cut it um, into pieces like a rectangle. And what you're after with it is to make the piece of foam slightly smaller than the transfer paper 
so that when you press, the edge of the paper floats and doesn't hit hard bottom. Um, and so the trick to using the foam is not to press too hard, because if you press with too much pressure, you flatten the foam and it doesn't do anything. The other technique is to deckle the edge of the transfer paper so then instead of having a sharp line, you've got a, a feather, you know, soft, soft cut there. And um, wow, that looks good. Um, so um, preventing the, the crease. So Tammy wants to know, why would anyone go to a trade show if Sprite isn't going to be there? You know, there, there's some logic, logic to that, uh, that's for sure. So we still Sprite, have... Sprite will be going to uh, a trade show in the near future. I doubt it. Um, she really is. I'm, I'm saying it on, on whatever we want to call social media okay, right so, now. So no video on YouTube. So there it is. Really, really cute. Super easy to do. Um, I looked at it. These are, you know, 25 bucks. Nope, sorry. Um, if not more. So 